Welcome back to Trader UK, the money management channel. First of all, a big hello to my now 1,700 channel subscribers. Thank you all for your continued support. Today, I'm going to go out on a limb a little bit. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm bringing you five stocks five companies that I believe will double in value before the end of 2021. Now, of course, there are plenty of companies out there that would naturally double in value given enough time, but normally the question is how long that would take, whether it's three years, five years, or 10 years for them to reach that milestone. What we're actually looking for today is a little bit more complicated. We need companies that will double in value by the end of next year, which isn't that much time. So, of course, that's a little bit more challenging but I believe these five companies that I have in store for you are very well positioned to do so. Of course, not everybody will agree with my selections and that's absolutely fine. In fact, it's fundamental for a working stock market. We need buyers and we need sellers, otherwise the market doesn't function very well. If though, you do have any companies that you believe will double in value by the end of 2021, let me know down in the comments so I can go ahead and check those out. Now, I'm actually going to get numbers one and two out the way at the same time. The reason I want to do that is because they're from the same industry. First of all, I'm going to bring them up on screen. And I also mention these companies a lot on the channel, so I don't want to overdo it. I won't spend too much time on them. It's Jet2 with a £2.5 billion market cap at the moment. And On The Beach, £571 million market cap. Now, they're both recovery stocks, much like any airline or any cruise line out there is at the moment. But in terms of the stock price, anyway, you can see the market recovery looks like it's well underway for these companies. The catalyst, though, for these companies to double in value before the end of 2021 is that these will both substantially increase their market share in 2021. A number of travel agents, big travel agents, big holiday firms have gone under recently, and that leaves both of these companies in a great position. I could include TUI in this list as well, but Again, I don't want to overdo it with the travel companies. We could go through every single airline that there is, every single package holiday provider and every single cruise line. But also, two are a much larger company and I think it's easier for Jet2 and On The Beach to 2x before Tui will. Although I think that will happen in time. I know I do rabbit on about these companies a lot on the channel, but this is an industry that I've worked in and it is an industry that I know very well. So companies number one and two, Jet2 and On The Beach. The third company that I believe will double in value before the end of 2021 is Upwork. Now, I actually featured Upwork as a stock of the week a few months ago, and shortly after that, they released a earnings report that beat expectations, and that saw the stock price jump by about 40%. I'm going to bring that up on screen for you now, that report. Now, Upwork have significant market share in a market that is growing, but they've never demonstrated that they can deliver sustainable bottom line profits, but they do keep growing the top line. Their revenue keeps increasing. You can see, if I bring up on screen what analysts are expecting next year, they're expecting about 20% growth next year. And being a digital platform, their costs are fairly predictable. So as they continue to grow revenue, it's only a matter of time before they start to deliver a profit on the bottom line. So I believe that 2021 may bring us a profitable quarter. And if it does, if they can put together back to back quarters, then this stock is going to go to the moon. Next up, we have a social media platform in Pinterest with a $43 billion market cap. Now, often companies with larger market caps, people won't expect them to double in value within a year. But let's see what happened with Tesla, what happened Apple at one point in 2020 had doubled its market cap. So certainly possible. And although I love technology companies, I do fear for big technology companies in 2021 and beyond that as well. There seems to be much more of a globalized approach now to combating big technologies reach and big technologies influence over the economy. That's despite the fact that we are more reliant on technology than ever and it plays a bigger part of our lives than ever. During the pandemic, for example, Facebook were tracking the spread of the virus uh, by filling out questionnaires on your profile. Amazon were making deliveries to people's homes so they didn't have to potentially spread the virus when they were out visiting shops. And Twitter was acting as a pretty reputable, in most cases, news source for a lot of people. 
So we clearly need technology, but the problem is when governments are out to level the playing field, that is not going to fare well for the stock price of big technology. Having said that, I do still hold big technology in my portfolio and it makes up a fairly large position. I'm just a little bit hesitant to increase those positions further at the moment. What I do like though is the idea of smaller technology companies. Companies without the one or two trillion dollar market caps. Companies that can potentially fly under the radar a little bit longer before they're considered too influential. And I think that Pinterest falls into this category. If I take you to have a look at the user numbers and the KPIs for interest, they are experiencing big user growth year after year. And in particular, they're performing very well outside of the US. The most interesting thing for me is their user demographic. You can see on screen some of these. So here, 71% of users are female. 70% of users have a college degree. 90% of weekly pinners make purchase decisions on Pinterest. So this platform clearly has a huge influence over people's shopping patterns. And when you have a really specific user base like Pinterest, obviously any companies who want to target women with high level of education, they're gonna pay a premium to advertise direct to those users. I think that as the platform continues to grow and they find new ways to monetize more effectively, which they already do very well, by the way, it's going to become a profit machine. And people are starting to see that now. So 2021 is going to be a great year for Pinterest. And finally, one of my favorite newcomers to the portfolio is Tattooed Chef. Market cap is currently around $1.6 billion. Now, it is a new addition to my portfolio, but I still think it's one of the best value companies that I own here. Even at this market cap, it's performed very well recently, but I think it's still good value. The plant-based food industry is booming and Tattooed Chef is growing along with that. Their brand is going down very well with retailers and with consumers. I think that in the first half of 2021, it's going to become apparent that the 220 million revenue guidance that they gave for 2021, that's an understatement. I think they're going to do a lot better than that, actually. And that would cause the company to 2x very quickly. With a small market cap company, it's possible that a few more high profile partnerships, a few more big retailers in the United States would be enough to 2x this company very, very quickly. So there you have it, guys. Jet2, On The Beach, Upwork, Pinterest, Tattooed Chef, all companies that I believe will double in value before the end of 2021. If you have any companies that you believe will perform well, let me know down in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time.